Hi everyone and welcome to my next video tutorial which is going to be focused on configuring template inheritance within our Django applications. So let's get started. So before I go into the detail on template inheritance I just want to show you the simple application that I have. So I have a home page here and two links that take me to two other pages. So if I click on go to about it takes me to an about page. I can return to my home page. I can go to the support page and I can return back to the home page. So as you can see, I have three pages, three views you could say. So a home page, an about page, and a support page. Now, what I want to teach you is how you can configure template inheritance. So just to give you some more information in terms of template inheritance is let's say for argument's sake, you for example have a navigation bar and you don't want to have to go ahead and copy and paste that same logic for your navigation bar on your home page on your about page and also on your support page so let's say we have a look at our application and we check our templates and let's say you have a navigation bar that you want to add in you don't want to have to add it into all of your pages each time because that can be lines and lines of codes it can be easy like 100 200 lines of code just for your navigation bar including all the functionality and logic and this can really eat away at your application it can make it um it can turn into a lot of spaghetti code now a way to simplify this approach is to use template inheritance. So what you can do is you can create a simple template and you can extend that template across other child templates. So you can have a base template and then all the other templates that you have, such as a bow, index.html and support.html can extend that one template. And this can save you lines and lines of code. And it can also make your code a lot cleaner and easier to read in terms of readability. And I'm gonna show you exactly how to do just that. So what you can do is in your templates directory, is you can go ahead and right click and create a new file. Um, and this template must be in the same directory as your um, other templates. And I'm going to call this, for example, base.html. So a very simple um, um, HTML file here called base.html. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to add in some logic here. So I'm gonna keep it very simple and very straightforward. So I'm going to add in HR. So this means horizontal row. And then I'm going to add in a h1 tag that says um, website under development. And I want this to be extended across all of my templates. And I want to add hr down below there. So hr is stands for horizontal line. And in between the lines, I want to have a h1 tag that says website under development. And I want this base template to be extended via template inheritance across my about.html page, my index.html page, and my support.html page. I want it to be extended. So what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to enable block content. So at the end of your base HTML page, okay, what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to add in the following, which is block content and end block okay so make sure you add these two and this spacing in between block content and block needs to be empty on your base template that you want to extend and it's going to act as a sort of placeholder for adding in other child templates once we extend it and this base.html file can act as a sort of parent template and you're going to give away to the children you could say and you and wherever you define the parent template you're going to extend it to the child templates which can be about.html index.html and support.html Right, so in order to extend this template here across all of your pages, you're going to have to do the following. So you can head on to, let's say index.html first, and you just want to, first of all, restructure your code a bit. And what you can do is you can go ahead and extend this base.html um, file. And to do so, you're going to add in the following tag, which is going to be extends, and here in quotes, you can say base.html. Now in my case here, I need to, I configured app um, level um, template rendering. So I need to reference CRM right here. So what I need to do here is I need to say CRM forward slash base.html. 
And then what I want to do is I want to just close that accordingly as follows. Okay, so you need to add in this extends um, tag to your application. Now we're not done yet. Now to ensure that we keep the uniqueness of our template, we need to add everything on the page that we are working with within block content. So what we need to do here is we need to say block content at the top and at the bottom, we need to add in end block like follows. So make sure that you add that all um, within uh, your block content. So now let's go ahead and do a simple test. So make sure your server is running and refresh. And you can see it says website under development. Now, if for example, I remove this block content or let's say I add something outside it, like I'm just gonna say test one and refresh, that's not going to be seen. So everything needs to uniquely be within these block content um, within these block content tags here. It needs to be within because this defines whatever is unique to a particular template and you need to ensure that everything is placed within it. So that's very important that you do that. So everything that is unique to a particular page needs to be put within block content and it needs to be within these tags as follows. Now referring back to the tags that we used for our base.html, okay, like I mentioned, this is a placeholder that's going to bind to whichever um, template is added to it via extends as follows. Okay, now just to give you a little bit more clarity here, if I were to right click on my index.html page and let's say I wanted to inspect this page or view the page source, should I rather say, we can now see if I zoom in here, we can see we have our base template that is being extended here from extends crm forward slash base.html. And within block content, we can see everything else that we have here set, such as the links that we have and all of the markup that pertains to index.html. So what you can do now essentially is you can use the same process with your other pages as well. So we have support.html and about.html. So what we can do is the same thing we've done here. So if I open up about.html, I'm going to do the same thing. Let me just move this around. And of course we need to have extends. Okay, and we need to put everything that's unique to about.html within our block content and end block tags. So we need to check everything out here, make sure we haven't missed anything. And you want to do the following, choose block content. And then at the bottom, end block. Okay, and that will be for about. Next we have uh, support.html and we're going to do the exact same thing. Okay, so we're going to of course have extends. So we want to extend from our base template like so. And then everything unique to the support page so all of our um, tags that we have here, we want to add that within block content. Okay, at the top and at the bottom, we have end block. So now we've configured template inheritance for our support page, our about page and our home page, so our index.html page. And now if we go out of here and refresh, and I just wanna zoom out, it's a little bit big. We can go to the about page and we can see we have template inheritance for the about page configured. And to the support page, we can also see we have template inheritance also configured there as well. So make sure that you've gone ahead and added that accordingly. And that's about um, it guys in terms of template inheritance. So hopefully you get the idea. So we have a base template or a parent template you could say, and we can extend this to other child templates which can go ahead and take in that functionality. So as you can see, this is very helpful. So if you have a navigation bar that you want to use, okay, and instead of going ahead and adding and copying and pasting that navigation bar to each of your pages, what you can simply do is you can use template inheritance and extend off your base or your parent template and just go on from there. All right, guys, so that's it for um, this uh, video tutorial. I hope it helped you. And as always, thank you for the support and I'll see you next time. See you guys.